What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We've got a great video for you guys today. We're going to be talking about if more cuts are coming for us drivers. Before we jump into this video, we wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Solo. Solo is the best app out there for rideshare drivers, hands down. It gets you access to guaranteed pay and a lot of other amazing features. I really do think this is the best app that has come out for rideshare drivers. So check it out guys. Our viewers are going to get $10 just for signing up using the link in the description below. So check it out and let's dive in. So this is a tricky question because obviously Uber and Lyft doesn't make traditional cuts, but what they do is they make decisions and do things that essentially force us to quit. Now the most recent thing that like blew my mind because it was so blatant to me, it was like they really don't even care anymore, was Dara saying and essentially on national television, or maybe it was a national interview, I can't remember, but he basically said that by 2030, if you don't have an electric vehicle, you won't be allowed on the platform. Didn't mind saying that at all. And that's their way of saying while well, we're doing our job. But let's look at some of the other things they've done recently. So obviously there's now Comfort Electric. Those rides make more per ride than the rides we give. And on top of it, we pay for gas, gas prices that are going up and we make less per ride. So it's almost like ridiculous that, it, you know, the, the notion is, you know, the way they phrased it is they're incentivizing us to go electric, but Acting like that's just a feasible thing that everyone can do is not realistic. And the other side of it is like the, you know, the cities we live in aren't ready for this. There's not enough charging stations for a majority of Uber drivers to go electric because the lines at these charging stations would be crazy. It would be very, very frustrating to deal with. So on top of that, you know, as you guys know, one thing we talked about was back in, um, I think it was August, they changed up the entire algorithm on how we get paid and they called it like upfront fares. And again, it was another thing where they phrased it as we're doing this for you guys. And it was a crock of, you know what, um, so they slashed the mileage rates in California, another thing. And Drivers were reporting a 50% decrease in their fares and their earnings. So they don't make traditional cuts because they can't. They can't force us to stop driving. I mean, even that I think they do because as many of you guys remember, there were some pretty big bonuses at one point and a lot of drivers got deactivated right before they hit the bonus. On top of that, after the pandemic, um, when they like opened everything back up, there was numerous like experienced drivers all of a sudden couldn't drive, no explanations. So maybe they do make cuts, but the reality is this company's always been shady. They've always done very shady things. So they have no problem doing stuff like that. There was the big scandal technically with the old CEO where the security chief at the time basically covered up the data breach, paid hackers and essentially had them pose as employees so that they could cover up this data breach. Paid them a hundred grand ransom and treated them as employees also that they didn't have to report it to the FTC. And that's just one story. I mean, the list goes on and on of like the, like just super shoddy, shady things this company has done. So if you really think they're not strategizing ways to one, get you incentivized to keep driving, but then to like cut you off when it's convenient to them, you're a fool. They're absolutely doing that. And their actions have proven that they've done this again and again. But the answer is yes, drivers are getting cut because they're, get, they're making it to a point where most people just can't do it. They have too many people that sign up daily to keep doing this and what sucks is it's going to start becoming such a shady service because all the good drivers quit, but they'll take on new drivers who are like learning the ropes. Some people might pop in from time to time to make 50 bucks here and there, but it's just not, it's just not worthwhile. So the big push, and this is some ways out, but the big push is that you won't even be able to use the app unless you have an electric vehicle. 
But would you be that shocked if they moved the timetable up for that? They say 2030. But then they've already made some aggressive moves. Obviously, the Uber Eats partnership with Neuro was the one that was the most shocking to me. They inked a 10-year deal. And now they've already got autonomous deliveries in Texas and California, only certain cities. But it's, it's, a, it's a small step, but a massive one at the same time. So would you be shocked if they moved all these timelines up? They've never been known for being an honest company. They've never been known for like treating us right, paying us well. They've never been known for caring what happens to us. So would you be shocked if all of a sudden you wake up one day and you've got one year to go purchase an electric vehicle? The reality is, I mean, it's more clear to me now than it ever has that like the end of being able to drive really isn't that far off. And the reality is it's going to hit a point as soon as they're ready where they will make things so hard and so ridiculous to drive that no one will do it. And my prediction for what comes next is that Uber will become a subscription service where they make us pay like a hundred bucks a month or something to re retain driving status. That's my next bet. That'll happen right before fully autonomous, fully electric, you know, new era of Uber unveils. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave some feedback in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe as well. Definitely check out Solo Guys. There's a link for it in the description. I promise you guys will love it. And stay tuned for more updates.